Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your man, Pristine, back with another video. I wanted to do an update video on the Essential PH1 right now. Um, is the Essential PH1 still relevant in 2018? In my personal opinion, absolutely. I think that this is one of the best devices that you can purchase right now. And I don't care what's out. You know what I mean? I understand the S9 and the S9 Plus is out. We got some other heavy hitters that are getting ready to drop. You know, you got a lot of other options out there that you can choose from. But as far as a pure stock Android experience that's clean, we've got Android Oreo 8.1 now that the phone just got updated to. So things are just running a tad bit smoother. I mean, my, my personal experience with this device out of the box has always been good. Things have always been nice and snappy, nice and smooth. I mean, we've got the Snapdragon 835 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of onboard storage that is non-expandable, which is totally fine with me because I don't do a lot of downloading and all that kind of thing, but kind of find it hard to believe that 128 gigs wouldn't be suitable just, you know, for just about anybody. Um, but... You know, and, and on top of that, I mean, you're getting the best hardware that money can buy on any smartphone right now. This phone's hardware is better than any other device that I've ever seen in my life. And I've come across and I've owned a whole lot of devices, y'all. And, and, and that's, a, that's, that, that, that's a pretty strong statement. I mean, you've got Corning Gorilla, uh, Gorilla Glass 5 here on the front, titanium on the sides, and then you've got a ceramic back plate on the back. And I understand there are a lot of devices that are out there that are built very durably, but not like this. I mean, the essential team here, they took this thing to a whole nother level with the build on this particular phone. Um, and on top of that, the phone's only $449.99. You can get it at your local Best Buy. You can get it on Amazon. You can order it on B&H Photo. And there's a couple other places where you can get it as well online. Um, but this has to be one of the best of values out there. You're getting the best bang for your buck with this particular device as far as a flagship. You know, this phone is being sold at a mid-range price, but it is very much indeed a flagship for a fact. And I understand, okay, yeah, those specs that I just named off, I mean, you know, those are last year's specs in 2017. You know, we're starting to we're, we're starting to see phones rolling out now with the Snapdragon 845 processor and six and eight gigs of RAM. Some are still gonna have four gigs of RAM, which is okay, which is which is cool, you know. Um, that's probably more RAM than what we need anyway, um, especially for how we use our devices. But I'm just saying, I mean, you're getting a whole lot for the price. And as I just mentioned, now that this phone has been updated to Android Oreo 8.1, wow, I mean, things, like I said, I don't want to make it seem like things were worse off before it got the update, and now everything is so much better. Now, that may be some people's experience, because I, I know a lot of people, they criticize this device. But I tell you, get this device in your hands and try it for yourself before you listen to what I have to say or any other YouTuber has to say. There are a lot of YouTubers, some of the heavy hitters that really slammed this device. They really slammed the camera and they said things about, you know, oh, well, maybe things, certain things can be fixed with updates. Uh, uh, but I've never seen a camera go from terrible, which is what they were saying the cameras were on this device, to good with software updates. Let me tell you something. The Essential Team they, they, they took in all that criticism and they pushed update after update after update after update on this device, whether it be updates for the camera, whether it be updates for, you know, uh, um, um, performance and stability, uh, uh, bug fixes. I mean, they really went hard in the paint on pushing updates to this device. And you know what? Everything on the device has gotten much better. Everything. From the performance, the camera performance, we've got new new added features and functions with the camera now. I mean, like I said, fresh out of the box, a lot of the a lot of the negative things that people were saying about this device, I didn't experience some of those. I didn't experience any of those things actually. Not to say that some people didn't, because I'm sure some people did experience those things. But my personal opinion and my personal usage with this device has been nothing short of stellar. I use this device every day to some degree. If my SIM card isn't in it being used as my daily driver, you know, it's connected to Wi-Fi at home and I'm using it to web browse or just something. I've recorded a lot of videos with this 
with this phone, the essential here. And I did that purposefully just to really show how good this camera is. A lot of my thumbnail pictures for my videos are taken with this eight megapixel shooter here on the front of this phone. And so, I mean, you know, in my personal opinion, I mean, you're getting the best hardware and money can buy on a smartphone. You're getting four gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of onboard storage, Snapdragon 835 processor. And look at this. Nice and smooth. We're running Android Oreo 8.1. So a few things have been updated, you know, with the update. Obviously, you know, if you're a fan of Android and you've been experienced to Oreo, if you've got a Pixel or a Pic, uh, you know, a Pixel or a Pixel XL or a Pixel 2 or a Pixel 2 XL or any other device that's been updated to Oreo, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, you know, things just have a much cleaner look and feel to them. When you go into settings, it's like the settings have been condensed a little bit. Um, so you see, as opposed to this long list, I mean, when you've got Oreo, I mean, things have been consolidated. And so you and, and so there's a few different settings in each one of these categories that you can click on now. So you, you have to make sure that you're reading, you know, uh, uh, the material here that's on the display so that you can find, you know, ex you know, exactly what you're looking for. But I just like the look and the feel of Android 8.1 Oreo. We've got other little things, you know, I'm extremely meticulous, you know. While this phone was running on, on, on Nougat, you know, we didn't have little things like the battery percentage that we can display on the screen. And so a lot of times if I wanted to check my battery, I had to scroll down twice to get to my quick toggles and then tap on battery and I can look at the battery life that way. Or just go into the settings and go to um, and go to battery and I can check my battery percentages that way. And I'm one of those kind of guys to where I like to have my battery percentage displayed up there at the top of the screen so I can just glance at it. And I can always peek and see, you know, where my battery life is looking like, you know, I like the I like the ability to have that feature when it was on Nougat, when I would get notifications on certain apps, like, say, you know, my messaging app. Well, there was never any like little indicator, like like a one or two or three on the top of the app indicating that I've got, you know, one, two or three messages to check. They will pop up up here. And sometimes, depending on how many notifications I had, I wouldn't even see the fact that I had a text message. So I like the fact that with Oreo, you've got those notification dots, which is extremely useful and helpful. So whenever I get an, a text message, then there's a little dot that, pop, that pops up right there on the actual application itself. So that's an indicator that I've got a text message and I can, man, boom, hey, I can just go into my text messages and, you know, do what I got to do. Little, just little, little things like that. I mean, I've noticed that the speaker, we've got one bottom firing speaker. Never had a problem with it. It gets very loud. It doesn't sound dis uh, distorted, even if it's at high volumes. That seems to have gotten a little bit more crisp. The sound quality from the speaker seems to be, you know, a little bit better than what it was before. Um, I'm noticing things like when I'm in my car, as I mentioned in tons of other videos, you know, I stream Spotify or I stream music through Spotify, uh, Spotify on my phone through Bluetooth. Which is why I'm never tripping over a phone not having a, head, a headphone jack because I'm wireless everything. I'm, I Bluetooth everything. Well, a lot of times when I get in my car with certain devices, I can pair any phone to my, to my car and listen to music. But certain phones would give me the ability to see the name of the track, the artist name, and other information which is called metadata on my navigation screen. And then I've also got steering wheel controls where I can, you know, control the track, you know, forward or back, and I can control the volume and things of that nature. Well, when it was on Nougat, yeah, I can connect my device to Bluetooth to the car and listen to music, but I couldn't see the information on my navigation screen, which also disabled me from being able to use the steering wheel controls to change songs. So I'm always I always would have to, you know, get the phone in hand and look at it if I wanted to switch from one song to the next, which is dangerous because I was taking my eyes off the road. Now, with the Oreo update, now, when I pair this phone to my car through Bluetooth, when I listen to music, I can see all the information, you know, on my navigation screen. I'm able to control, you know, the track and the volume and everything with my steering wheel control. So I no longer have to take my eyes off the road for somebody like me. That's huge for me. That is big for me. And so, you know, we've all got little little things here and there about certain devices as to why we like them versus why we don't. You know what I mean? And a lot of times if my if, if I can, like I said, I can stream, I can, I can sync any phone that I have 
that has Bluetooth to my car and listen to music, but not all of them give me the ability to see the metadata on my navigation screen and also give me the ability to use my steering wheel controls. That, that To me, that's a determining factor. I've put phones down because I'm in my car a lot, you know, whether it be working, you know, traveling just on my work commute, running errands. You know, I got three kids, you know, taking the kids around to where they need to be. You know, I'm Mr. Chauffeur over here. But, um, you know, being able to look at the song and, 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 not, and being able to control everything from the steering wheel and not have to put the phone in my hand for nothing unless I just want to listen to a different playlist. I mean, that's huge for me. You know, so. You know. Unmatched hardware in this screen, 5.7 inch display, full HD panel. This screen is absolutely gorgeous. It doesn't have to be 4K. You know what I mean? Or, or quad HD. You know, I'm a simple guy, man. It's the sim- it's it's the little things in life. You know what I mean? This screen is beautiful. T- you know, th- to me, still, out of all the phones that are being released, I know that all the OEMs nowadays, you know, they're adopting the 18 by 9 aspect ratio. And that's cool. You know, I'm a big, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan of it. You know what I mean? And, and it's gotten to a point to where I prefer, you know, for most or all of my phones to have that aspect ratio. You know, so I, you know, I understand, you know, that that's just a thing right now. But this still, to this day, of all the devices that have been released, has to be one of the most beautiful phones that has ever been built, if not the most beautiful. Look at this. This is the ceramic backplate that I was talking about. Fingerprint sensor right there in the middle where it's supposed to be. Dual 13 megapixel cameras right there. One is a monochrome lens. The other one's the primary 13 megapixel. Oh, and need not forget that this phone is also a modular, a modular phone. You know what I mean? So, you know... Kind of like Mo- what Motorola does with the Moto Mods. Well, this thing, it's got that little, the tiniest, the world's tiniest 360 camera that you can just click on right there into those little pins. There's a wireless charger now that you can buy and you can just set the phone down on it and wirelessly charge it. And I, my understanding is that they've got some other things coming out as well that's going to be able to utilize that modularity function. I mean, so, you know, this phone, you know, like I said, on top of the hardware, the software, now that it's got, you know, nougat man you know the cameras you know the screen quality fingerprint sensor on point just tap it opens up 100% of the time very very snappy performance (laughs) yeah is the essential phone worth it in 2018 absolutely this phone is worth every penny. Every penny. You can get it, like I said, right now at your local Best Buy for $449.99. There's a sale going on. It's 50 bucks off. The full retail price of this device is $499. And even that's a great deal for this phone. Remember, when this phone first came out, it was $699. And that was the price that I paid for it. Because I had I was an early adopter. I got this phone like, like a day after it was released. I paid $699 at Best Buy. The cool thing is... If you get a phone from them and the price drops within a certain amount of time, you can just take them best by the receipt and show them what you paid for it. And what they'll do is if they see that they're now selling the device for less than what you paid for it, then they'll give you the difference back. So when this price, when the, when the price for this phone permanently dropped to $499, I was able to go in with my receipt and say, hey, man, I paid full price for this, which is $699 plus the taxes. And I got like 200 and something bucks back. So I was able to take advantage of the fact that this phone was, you know, I, I, I was able to take advantage of the new price once that price finally came down. So, you know, I mean, I know that I've heard things about people getting this phone for cheaper on Swappa and OfferUp and, you know, sites like that. So look around. You know, I'm pretty sure you can find, you know, uh, uh, um, um, more competitive pricing for this device, given the fact that it's been out for a little while. You know, it came out like mid or toward the latter part of 2017. I mean, so, you know, it's been out for a little while. Is it still relevant? Absolutely. Another thing I want to mention, this phone right here is the perfect Pixel 2 XL alternative, especially now that it's got Oreo 8.1. Some people would knock this device because it didn't have that. Well, what you got to say about it now? You know what I mean? This and the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL, they've got the same specs. This to me is a much more attractive device. The hardware for sure is much better than the Pixel 2. 
I'd even go so far as to say the screen is better, in my personal opinion, because on this device, you don't have to worry about a bunch of burning and, you know, if you tip the phone off of its axis and different little colors and things that you'll see, like a lot of the complaints uh, 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 that people complained about the Pixel 2 XL, you're not going to worry about any of that stuff here on the Essential phone. You know what I mean? I'd have to say that the only thing that the that the Pixel 2 XL has over this is the fact that it's got a dual front-facing speaker setup. Now, those speakers on that on that Pixel 2 XL and the Pixel 2, they sound damn good. Okay? So it's got that and the cameras. Okay? Obviously, you know, we all know the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL is pretty much known for its camera performance. The camera technology in that phone is absolutely stunning. But it's not to say that the camera technology here on the Essential phone is bad. This camera on this phone is going to do pretty much everything that you need it to do. Crystal clear photos, videos, all that stuff. You can record in 4K. We got portrait mode now. I mean, you can take bokeh effect shots. You can do all that stuff with this phone now. You know what I mean? And then on top of that, like I said, this is 450 right now. The Pixel 2 XL is still going for 750, close to 800, if not still over 800 bucks. Are you all about saving a dollar or are you? <laughs> you catch my drift? So again, is the essential PH1 still relevant in 2018? <laughs> you bet your ass it is. That's all I got. Update for the essential phone. Essential PH1. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel to expose yourself to tons of more videos that I've done like this one. And be sure to stay tuned because I've got so much more content to come. To all my subscribers, I love you guys. All of my early subscribers that have been rocking with me for a while, I thank you guys. Much appreciated. I know I don't get the opportunity to upload as much as you guys may like me to. I don't get a chance to upload videos as much as I want to just because of my busy schedule between work, you know, wife, three kids, life experiences, things, things always happening. Yeah, but I appreciate you guys rocking with me. All my new subscribers, much love. Welcome to the journey. Welcome to the channel. I appreciate your subscription. And I'm going to continue to do my thing, man. Get my hands on these devices and feed you guys this information to help you make an informed decision on what your next smartphone may possibly be. All right? I'm your man, Pristine, bringing you the content. Again, this is the Essential PH1, y'all. Go check it out. If you slept on it, trust me. Get it in your hands and check it out. If you have an Essential phone... Let me know what your experience is. You know, if you're thinking about picking it up, let me know what's stopping you from picking it up. Maybe watching this video can, you know, push you over the edge to pull that trigger. All right? All right. So you guys already know, man. Take care. Stay safe. Definitely get spiritually fit because we're definitely living in the last days. And keep it pristine in every aspect of your lives. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.